hello guys welcome to the dms online school in today's video we are going to revise this question here which is coming from physics which is uh, science paper one so this question is coming from uh, science paper one so this is science paper one so science paper one is technically physics so this is uh, physics okay there are two questions which i'm going to solve here one question is coming from electricity okay so you have to watch to the end then another question is coming from radio activity so please remember to watch this video to the end so that you don't miss out anything and remember to give it a like and also a comment or share all right so let's start so figure b8.1 below shows two pairs of a 3.0 ohm resistors connected to a 6.0 volt battery so we have uh, this situation here we have a battery which is 6.0 volts we have uh, two pairs of resistors here we have this one 3.0 ohm and this one 3.0 ohm this one 3.0 ohm this one 3.0 ohm so these are the pairs they are talking about then they are saying calculate a resistance in the circuit between m and n so it is between m and n so they want the resistance here so the resistance here will be found first of all by totaling these ones here so 3 plus 3 since these are in a series so it will give us 6 ohm here then here also we'll say 3 plus 3 6 ohm here now these two 6 ohm this 6 ohm up here and this one they're in parallel so we need now to add this in parallel in order to find the resistance between M and N. So since they are in parallel, we use what we call the product sum rule, which says that total resistance T is going to be equal to resistor 1 times resistor 2 over resistor 1 plus resistor 2. So we assume this one is resistor 1 then this one is a resistor 2 anyway since they are the same it doesn't matter but then you substitute you assume this one is resistor 1 which is 6 then times the other one also 6 then over the other one 6 plus 6 then you say 6 times 6 which is 36 over 6 plus 6 you have 12 then you are going to say 12 into 36 is 3 meaning the resistance will be actually 3.0 ohms you put in the units so this is the total resistance here then we move to the next question which is a b we calculate our current through the battery so current through the battery here is the total current passing through the circuit so this is how we find total current we use ohms law which says the voltage is going to be equal to current times total resistor now we are looking for current we make current the subject of the formula so divide by r here also by r so that this r resistors go will remain with current is going to be equal to voltage over resistance like that then also okay this one is going to be equal to um what we are going to do is to put here a uh, voltage which is here the one they've given us here six uh, volts then uh here we'll put in we'll substitute six over so this is six volts then over uh resistance here it is this one we found here three so three ohms then we are going to divide we'll say six divided by three which will be two then current will be two amps because the units for current is two so put two point uh, zero amps as the answer then we move to uh, C which says uh, we calculate power developed in the battery so power is given by this formula power has got so many formulas but in this case we use this one which says current times voltage so current is this one here we have found which is two amps then times voltage the one which is in the battery which is 60 volts then we multiply 2 times 6 which will be 12 so it will be 12 watts as the unit so here power will be 
words then we go to this other question here which is b9 which says uh, radioactive iodine is used to treat tumors of the thyroid gland it decays by emitting beta particles and gamma radiation then the same the beta emitting process is represented by the following equation here so this equation represents the beta emitting process then they're saying a hey, what is the nucleon number of the new nucleus uh, this one here formed so nucleon number so nucleon number is this number here it is the atomic mass okay atomic mass or mass number is also known as the nucleon number so here now for you to know the nucleon number for this they are talking for this its nucleon number is this one here the number which will be here we use this general equation which says that if you have um, a daughter nucleus or atom which has the atomic number or atomic mass a and atomic number z if it decays by emitting a beta it goes to a daughter a daughter will have the same uh, mass number or nuclear number as the parent but the uh, atomic number of the daughter will increase by one then there will be also emission of an electron with it. Uh, zero mass number but negative one in terms of uh, atomic number so this is the format that we are going to use which means that uh, using this format in this case now we are given the parent has 31 so you write 131 then here it has 53 53 so this is iodine so if it decays now following this format it means the daughter which is xe here has also the same one set one here okay it has one set one here then here it has down here it has 53 here 53 plus one then here plus this one here zero like that so if you check here you find that the daughter now will have 54 down here then here to have 131 just like that so when they're saying what is the nuclear number of the new nucleus of this formed it will be the same 131 131 the nucleon number it is the same as uh, the mass number okay then be the same the half-life of iodine 131 is eight days the total dose of iodine given to a patient initially emits a 4.10 to power 8 rays per second. Then they're saying how many gamma rays does the total dose of iodine emit each second after 24 days. Okay, so to, to find this answer, we'll use this formula here which says uh, the final amount is equal to initial amount times half then to the power total time over half life okay this is half life so here we'll substitute so we are looking for n so n is going to be equal to so this is what we are provided here so it will be 4 times 10 to the power 8 then open brackets will have 1 over 2 close brackets then total time is this one here t24 days so put there um 24 days okay so this one will be yeah it doesn't matter the days will cancel yeah so this one is 24 over uh half life is this one here they've given us here half life is eight days so over eight there so say okay equals so it will be 4 times 10 to power 8 open brackets 1 over 2 then i'll say 8 into 24 it will be 3 so this one will come here like this so it will be like 4 times 10 to the power 8 then 1 to power 3 it will be 1 so it will be open brackets 1 over then 2 to power that 3 it will be 8 okay so now this one will come out as 4 
this one times this it will be like 4 times 10 to the power 8 divided by uh, 8 so if we are to get the calculator here you see what is going to happen here so same open brackets 4 times 10 to the power 8 okay close brackets divided by 8 so you see we are going to have 50 million so we have n is equal to 50 like that okay million so this one will write it in index form which will be 5 times 10 to the power we'll count here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 to the power 7 now since they're asking for how many gamma rays so we have these gamma rays uh, yeah how many gamma rays does the total dose of iodine emit each second after 24 days so it will be this rays you write rays per second so here the answer will be 5 times 10 to the power 7 then you say rays per second yeah so this is it guys so we have other questions here so please remember to like uh, follow also if you are watching from tiktok and also remember to subscribe if you are watching from my youtube channel and also remember to also like if you are watching from my facebook so that you don't miss out on my next upload all right thank you for watching guys as for now bye i see you in the next video